Black is King, the visual album from Beyonce, reimagines lessons of the Lion King for young kings and queens. The story follows a young African king who is cast out from his family into an unforgiving world. He undergoes a journey through betrayal, love, and self-identity to reclaim his throne, utilizing the guidance of his ancestors and childhood love. Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Movie Files. Ellie here today to talk about Black is King, which is the new musical film, the virtual album that premiered on Disney Plus this past Friday. Now, if you do not know, this film stars written by, directed by, produced by the one and only Beyonce, and then also this film does serve as a virtual companion to the 2019 album, The Lion King, The Gift, which of course ties into the 2019 remake of The Lion King. Now, I'm very excited to let you all know what I thought about my very first time watching a visual album and let you know if it's worth checking out. Now, before we dive into that discussion, as you can see on the screen now, make sure you're following me on all my other social media accounts. If you are new to this channel, subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos make sure you give this video a thumbs up helps out the channel tremendously but i also really appreciate it and last but not least if and when you've seen black is king let me know what you all thought about this musical film this uh visual album if you've seen her other visual albums is this your favorite one your least favorite one let me know all your pros your cons in the comments below so a little backstory about me and beyonce am i a fan i'm not a fan so I grew up in the 90s, so of course I know who Beyonce is. I've been following this, this, this incredible artist since the 90s regarding Destiny's Child and the many different versions of that Destiny's Child group. Sir, her going into her solo career, her going into acting, her becoming this producer, this director as we know her as today, and just seeing her become an icon. You know, even though I'm not the biggest queen bee, you know, I'm not buying all the albums, I haven't heard all of her music, but... I respect her hustle, and, and and this undertaking, this three-year deal that she has with Disney, where she's going to be doing other, I guess, visual, or virtual visual albums, and doing maybe other feature-length films, and maybe she's going to star in Black Panther 2 as Storm, who knows what the future holds, but I was very intrigued to see what she had to say with this uh, visual album, and again, it's my first time watching one as an entirety, and knowing that this is a retelling of The Lion King, now I know there was a lot of hate on The Lion King last year, I thought the film was fine, I know it was a rehash of what we got back in the 90s, but I enjoyed the visuals. I enjoyed the storytelling. Uh, but nevertheless, I was really interested to see her her story, right? And then also, it's called Black is King. So in today's society, in today's time that we're living in, in this world, and especially in the U.S., let's hear the story that she wants to tell about, you know, black people, about culture, about being oppressed, about being, you know, a, a young black man with, with gifts and talents and having this potential, but then being taken off your path of greatness. So I really want to see what she was going to do within this story. So starting off with this review, as I do, I talk about all the positives first. This is going to be a little bit different from a movie review because I'm going to be talking about the acting, the directing, the producing, all that stuff, but also the music aspect and all that good stuff. So starting off with the positives, as I was watching this visual uh, album and, and, and after I got done watching it, the first thing that came to mind was, God damn, that was beautiful. Back in the day, TRL, BET, you know, One of Season Park, music videos were the thing, right? But as the years went by, albums became less of a big deal. It was more about pop hits, more about singles, it was more about Spotify and iTunes. So again, this being my first time sitting down watching a visual album, there's been many before this, obviously with Beyonce herself, with Lemonade and Beyonce. I've seen different clips from those. I've seen the actual music videos of those individual songs, but never sitting down its entirety. And this isn't nothing new, by the way, too, guys. You know, I think of Michael Jackson and Thriller. I think of uh, Pink Floyd. I think of the Beatles. I think of even R. Kelly, Trapped in Closets. So this has been done before, but the thing that Beyonce did was she's taken that medium and expanding upon it. And then you have the backing of Disney. She has this, like I said, three-year deal in the work. So that's something that I really admired about this film was the production value. Now, this film, this virtual, uh, this visual album spans between Berlin, we're going to London, we're in West Africa, we're in LA. I mean, the global scale of this was incredible to me. Again, the culture, the the being represented on the screen, again, Black is King, you're seeing this story, that's one of the positives too, the story of seeing this young man who was born for greatness. He is a band, he's kind of taken away from his family, and you'll, you'll see that in the, in the album, but then you're seeing him meeting new people and how these people can influence him, and he has this path of greatness, but then he's getting distracted, you know, and I love that kind of storyteller element, and also, you know, the idea of, 
embracing your blackness, embracing who you are as a person. I love the themes in this visual album. I don't know where I was last year. Again, I don't hear every Beyonce song, but in particularly going to the tracks of this song, I thought the album was incredible. I downloaded it immediately, and there were definitely some songs that stood out to me. Uh, uh, Find Your Way Back, Mood Forever with Stars, if you guys don't know, Jay-Z's my favorite rapper of all time, from Reasonable Doubt all the way to 411. I think he's the GOAT, but either way, he's in that song. Childers Gambino, who again was Simba in the film and has some lines from the movie that translates into this movie, and also too, again, for those that are Lion King, Heart fans is loosely based on the Lion King, like the foundation, the meat and bones of Lion King is in this visual album, but this is very creatively different uh, and different storytelling. But I like uh, Move Forever. Uh, you have already. Uh, we have Water, uh, uh, Brown Skin Girl. That song is dope. I thought that the album, the actual music, was not only inspiring and, and you know motivational, but just fire tracks, a lot of dope beats, and just again the lyrics and everything that goes into it encompass it, encompass the the theme of culture, embracing your ancestors, knowing about your history, knowing about your blackness, knowing about your greatness, and embracing that. That's something that I really admire about this story. Is again. Black is King is very African-centric, it's very culture-based in the black community, but I still think, even though this might not be for everybody out there, I still think everyone can pull something without of that story, without of those themes. Having, being born into a certain family and then being distracted about your greatness or having this particular uh, persona or this uh, prejudice or discrimination against you and, and breaking out of that mold. So I think anyone and everyone can take something out of the story being told. Again, I was very impressed by the visuals. I love seeing the uh you know jay-z making an appearance i thought the aesthetics the look the costume design the visual design of this film was gorgeous get into some of the criticisms it is a film per se the acting sometimes i'm not a big beyonce acting fan i thought she was you know when she's doing her dance moves and she's getting it in her tracks she's killing it but as an actress i really don't feel those emotional beats you know jay-z my favorite rapper not necessarily my favorite actor or performer but you know he was okay but i think the the highlights for me were the the young boy that was playing simba essentially and you see him become a man and then also the young lady that was playing his queen i thought that those two actors and the actresses in these films were great the african artists that were actually on the tracks and the and the backup dancers and the, and the choreography within this was incredible. So minor criticisms, the acting wasn't always there, and also when you're looking at it being told as like a, a story, a through line, a narrative, sometimes it got, you know, you get distracted because she's going into her own songs and sometimes the songs don't correlate with the actual story that's being told. So sometimes a little bit of a distraction, you take a little bit of a subplot if you want to look at it as a film, but that wasn't a big thing. But the biggest thing as far as the negative was sometimes the acting wasn't all the way there. But nevertheless, for this being my first time sitting down watching a visual album directed, written by, starring Beyonce, backed by Disney, I was pretty impressed. I recommend you all check it out. And when you do, let me know what you thought about it. Let me know your favorite track, your favorite scene. Uh, I'm going to be checking out some of these artists that I've never heard of because they were dope to me. And again, I downloaded the album and I, and I can't wait to check it out on repeat. So again, let me know your pros, your cons, your favorite track, your favorite moment. And if you are going to look forward to seeing more of Beyonce's virtual, visual uh, musical film. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Make sure you watch the replay of my Guardians of the Galaxy watch along. I got many more things coming this week from Perry Mason review, the season finale of Doom Patrol. There's some stuff coming out on Netflix and a lot of great content coming to you all. So I hope you enjoy. Have a great week. See you soon in the next video. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and we'll be back soon.